G'day guys, we thought we'd do a new updated video on how to import a X-Lite sequences onto your uh, layout. There's been some changes on the way that you can do it, if you wish, um, from we're on version 2021.08. We'll be importing a sequence uh, from RGB sequences onto this um, layout that we have here. Now, there's a couple of little steps to this, in particular the sequence that we're going to be uh, importing is the uh, the weekend lightning light sequence which we have available for free uh, to the community. A couple of little tips and tricks about this sequence. Um, one of them is in particular this sequence uses a singing face on the mega tree, so we will break that up into a separate video after this video. So it's going to be a couple of parts. Uh, so this first video will be um, just a bit of a general um, way of importing a sequence. Now there's a couple of little um, steps you need to do beforehand we highly recommend. That is actually, the first step is probably regarding your show folder. Uh, on your computer. Now, this is the show folder that we have set up. Within the show folder, we have a Christmas folder. Within that Christmas folder, we have the Xlights RGB effects and networks settings for your layout. So pretend this is your layout. Back to our directory. So we've got a show folder, Christmas. And now this is where we've got our Christmas display. And then we're going to create a new folder called Imported. And what we've done, we have already downloaded the Weekend Blinding Light sequence and we've copied it from probably your downloads. You know, just copied it straight across into this imported folder. Now we're not going to unzip it. We're just going to leave it in this um, zipped format. So this is where the steps have changed since before. Uh, another thing we have also done, we've also already ob obtained the music. Uh, we just put the music in a separate folder, just kept it a bit neater. So we've been to the link on the website uh, for, for the Amazon link and we've paid and said it. we've got our music. So before we actually import the sequence onto our layout, one of the steps that we need to do is to have some groups for our main props. Um, we have made the sequence effects from RGB sequences into groups for easy importing. Um, and this layout pretty has most of the groups already set out. Obviously there's a candy cane group, They've made a floodlight, they've got a house outline, a house vertical, etc. Um, just to create a group, there's a couple of different ways if you want to do it. Uh, one way, we'd like to put these four arches, one, two, three, four, into a new group because we don't have an arch group. So you can hold the control key down and left click, left click, left click left click and notice that it's highlighted those arches up there and then you can come down here right click create group left click and we'll call it obviously arches and awesome it's made to say arch group and it's put our four arches in there there's another way that you can do it also you could uh, right click up in here, create an empty group. Um, we'll call this Arches 2, just further show you the different way. And then you can come down here and you can manually transfer those props across. So there's, you know, there's a couple of different ways of doing it. Now we're not going to save that because we that was just to demonstrate. So we're just going to get rid of that second delete the group it's going to ask us yes we've already got that so we've set up our groups on your layout now they've um they've done a great job here on this one they're um, nicely set out we just hit our save because we made that new arch group now we're going to import the sequence from 
uh, RGB sequences. We're going to grab the, now we've watched the video, we like it. Um, we're going to import the effects onto our layer. So back to our, back to our X lights, file, new sequence. We're making a musical sequence, Old of Christmas music. That was the music file we had. We're just going to go green, green, green. And it's going to start us now where we can import the effects. Open this up so I can see what's going on. I'll just turn that off to get more screen real estate. So we've got the audio files come in because we already had the music. So now we're going to go import effects at the top. If click import effects. Uh, now we're just going to go to where we made that new folder within our directory. Remember we made that imported folder and we copied across the zip file that we obtained uh, from our, when you downloaded it. And you simply double click on that and it's already ex opened, extracted that zip file and it's giving us all these options that we've got here for uh, uh, the effects available. But one thing we just want to touch on, we've got some new options over here. Um, so model blending has been enabled in the source video. Yep, we want to keep that, import the media. Um, you can change your options there if you wish. Uh, then we've got the timing tracks selected. Uh, we'll just go new timing as well. So that's got that part. Um, if you're importing a, you know, from you already had the sequence importing different effects, you know, you could erase them, but this is a new sequence. So we're going to just copy the effects across. Now remember we had, these are the props on your house. These are the effects from your downloaded sequence. So we've got arches, we can just drag and dump across. We had candy cane, so you can do a left click, then you can double click in there if you want. Uh, we're just gonna work our way down from our main groups for starters. Uh, we've got a floodlights group. Uh, we had some floodlights, so we'll drag and dump that across. Uh, they've got a house outline, so house outline, house verticals. Uh, they had a house roof group, which was might be a bit hard to see, but you know for their upper roof. But um, our house outline group shall cover that. Um, moving down, the mega tree obviously is not in a group because it's a single standalone prop, and it's the same from um, RGB sequences. So we'll just uh, drag our mega tree across. Um, there should be a mega tree. Star, do we have a star? They probably called it star. Across to that, so we'll make a tree star. Scroll back up. Now we have some mini trees. Scrolling back down to mini trees. Mini trees, mini trees. What have they got there? Mini trees only group. Um, we've got some stars for the mini trees. Stars group, etc. So it's just matching up the effects in groups from RGB sequences, this downloaded sequence onto your house layout. Now, if you wanted to have a look what props are can't contained um, within these groups, now they're fairly obvious ones, the candy canes, etc. But if you're just sort of curious, you can jump onto our RGB sequences website. Uh, if you went to the you know FAQ and disclaimer page, we do have some um, a bit of a mapping guide which sort of shows you the props so we can sort of left click on that and open that up uh, we don't do that. and it can give you you know you can either print this out if you'd like um, it's fairly straightforward though um, we don't tend to use a lot of these all house group ones in some of our sequences uh, but they're there if you wanted to have a look but the, you know, the main ones here, like your house outline, so you'll be able to see, you know, that's, we you know, contain it all in a house outline. There is the, you know, the house verticals, um, you know, icicles, 
etc. Now the small snowflakes, the larger snowflakes, and the rest of them are fairly, you know, fairly basic, so you'll be able to work them out. So back to this importing the sequence. Uh, they don't have any icicles. They had a matrix. Didn't they have a matrix? No, I don't think they did. Um, that's pretty well it at this point in time for their props over to there we did you can always come back and apply you know, re-import other effects um, we've got some high, high density props here within this sequence we're going to do a separate video uh, about importing them i just want to make sure they didn't have any snowflakes if they had snowflakes we could um, transfer them across or a matrix or anything like that so that's our basically mapping of these effects across now what you can do is you can actually save the mapping file now left click on there and you know rgb sequences and you could save it whatever you like um, so if you want to reuse it then you can just go load a mapping find that mapping file and it will basically pre-populate these groups for you so we're happy with that we'll just hit okay and that's where the magic begins all the effects have been transferred across uh, onto your layout in the sequence there or well, um, big step some people forget you just need to do a render now this video may slow down a sec so we'll just see what happens so we've rendered the video. Um, we're just going to very quiet the audio. Um, we'll bring our house preview. Now, if we hold the control key, we can uh, drag this one across. If we keep the control key held down, it won't dock it. We can make it out to a decent size so we can see what's going on. And we should have some cool effects. Trying to make that bigger for you guys. Sorry. You can zoom in. So we've got our shader files have come across. So that's all looking pretty good. Uh, we've got um, able on the tree, our effects are all looking pretty good. So we will create this file, uh, obviously save your sequence into your show folder, into your Christmas shoulder folder. So, no. blinding the lights. And we're pretty well done for that standard type of import. Just wait for that to save. Now, you will notice uh, where is our mega tree? Mega tree, mega tree, mega tree, mega tree, mega tree. What we have done from RGB sequences, we've actually, for this sequence, we have applied and made a .avi video file for all these native Xlights effects on the mega tree to make it you know, a bit easier. So if you're not happy with how those effects are sort of looking, you can utilize these native effects by you know, deleting and selecting the video, delete that. And then you, the important step, you need to delete this off effect. And then because of the rendering order, they're all our um, our native effects to work. So that is importing a basic sequence um, from RGB sequences onto our layout. Um, so it has changed a little bit before we used to have to you know, swap folders around, etc. etc. Now our next step is we'll be we're going to make a separate video. We will be setting up our singing faces on this mega tree. Okay, thanks for watching so far.